my name is Tara Patterson, the founder of the Mom's Choice Awards, and we're here live at Book Expo America in New York City, and I am with author Mary Ficalora of Choosing Honor. She won a Mom's Choice Award in the inspirational category. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, Thank share you. a little bit with our audience about the book Choosing Honor. Uh, this is uh, a mom's... Uh, Oh, put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little bit. It's a 2004 reaction piece, <laughs> sort of. It's um, the spiritual right. I consider myself quite conservative, and yet um, was finding religiosity going on that was, to me, what I say in the book, upside down. In that. Um, and it was combined with, I do a lot of walking in my neighborhood, I know all my neighbors, and there was this fear coming at me of my children are not going to be able to live the same style that we are living in. They're not going to be able to live in this neighborhood. And when was this? Afford this house. You're 2004. saying 2004 is when these That's people when are feeling like that. That's when I said this book has to be written. Really? Right. Well, I live in California. Okay, so, okay. Uh, and about just outside Los Angeles. So 2004 was when the average home was half a million dollars all of a sudden. Okay, so this is at the height, or when it was the it height was of that really real estate. Really peaking the real estate it, bubble. Got it. And I come from a family that has spent, I have five, four siblings, one of five. And I knew about the workings of the United States because we were a global family. I was raised overseas, mm -hmm. came back when I was a teenager. So how America works, what it means to be an American, and how money works was a, a big part of our understanding. My mother comes from farming family, and it, as but, how do I say this? When my father read the book, he said, it's so funny. Everybody used to know what you wrote in this book. And now all of a sudden, it's not, nobody knows this anymore. And so and when you say everybody used to know, you're talking about the inalienable rights of being here, or what did everybody used to know? Our power, our, okay. our the, rights. The inalienable rights right. are the very beginnings of our power. From that comes that sense of um, not entitlement. Yeah, right. Uh, not at all. Uh, that sense of uh, well -being. power to create our own existence. Right. In the United States, that translates to we are the kings, potential kings. We are the kings of our nation. Because if you go to the original common sense doctrine before the Declaration of Independence, it was we don't need a king to interpret God's will for us. We can create our own existence. We don't need the, ki the king to tell us what God wants us to do. We have the inalienable abilities to bring our own lives into being, and, and with common sense. Right. And that comes down to knowing how money works. Right. Because as I call it in Choosing Honor, I say money is our magic wand, in that how money works directly correlates to how we create our own lives. And this comes in my life from living overseas as an American, and uh, uh, shocked and horrified at the living conditions I was in South America as a oh, young child. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my, bro my brother particularly was very moved and, and would cry about the disparity. Yes. And my mother's answer was, and this is what I'm saying everybody used to know, well, in the United States we don't have this problem because we have a monetary system that enables all of us to realize a good equal life, uh, not equal life, but a good life that we work for and can get because we have a free... Because we make choices. And, and is that part of it too, is, is what you choose to do with what you have, what you've been given? Um, but I, I hear what you're saying in that we all have that ability being in this country to have a better life than other countries. Well, the difference though, and this is where I'm saying everyone used to know this, there's a monetary system that if it's not equalized, and balanced creates the imbalance. And right. we're in a place right now where yeah, we can see this. I was just going to ask you, so what are you seeing? Class. What do you say exactly? So right. what are you seeing now that this has been out since when? This, this came is, out last July. Okay, so it's been out for about a year. Things were going pretty south at that point. Right. Because they've gotten a whole lot worse. I was right on time. You were right, I saw so it coming. So you saw it coming. I saw it and, coming. And, because I understood the way money works. And I saw how it was being manipulated in such so a way. So an imbalance. Yes. 
Yeah. So we're. I know. I hear what you're saying. Being squeezed out of the middle we're class. We're being squeezed I'm one out. Of those. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, and and how it's been. So, and that's why I, I. What I meant by choices. You know, when you see it start to go like this, people up here can make choices to help it come back like this. Right. But a lot of people don't choose to do that. Well, and and that's where I'm. This is why I call it an empowerment book. First of all, rediscover how it's supposed to work and realize that only moms and ordinary people who know the right way are going to make a change because the, the, in, the entrenched yeah. paradigm of operation in Washington and the bankers and the way the financial structure of corporations is set, they're not going to change I it know, I know. until they get the pressure right. of the people in society saying society first. Well, that's what happened, I mean, you know, back with the bourgeoisie and all of I mean, that's what's that's always right. happened. That's they, right. they finally had to mass, when it hits critical mass, right. and people say enough is enough. enough and is you enough. can see it happening in little ways. Have you seen Today? it? Oh, Absolutely. little things are starting to happen. Right. I mean, you know, you look at the car industry, for example, and people are saying, no, you know, we can't keep doing this. I mean, they want more money, and they haven't done anything with what they've been given. But, but so far, our politicians are not responding to the people. We need I to know. amp it up a little I, bit. I, I and that's what this is about. That's what get this book is about. Get out that's and choose wonderful. honor, because honor is standing for the good of all in the face of the forces we cannot control. Very good. Well, standing for the good of all starts a force. But you, they, that we can makes stand it happen. up and right. do something. Right. We right. can do it. And, and actually, it's not going to happen until we do it. Yeah. And I was reading a, a writer this, this weekend, uh, Come Home America, William Brighter, and he was saying it's not going to happen until the ordinary people get involved. And he's been watching it the whole time because until there's that pressure yeah. and the power of the people saying, whoa, we're not going to be able to keep our place in, in business without them. Even in, even in how you spend your money makes a difference. But um, so that's what it's all about. And I say it's our magic, and and it's our spirit. It's who we are, and it's time to be Americans. Got it. It's I, time I, for I Americans to be Americans. Be the citizens. Demand the society comes first. Yes. And and even look at ourselves. Take how a stand. We? Yes. Take a stand. Well, you know, and and I think it starts too with valuing yourself. Yes. and valuing your relationships and valuing your family and then once you can do that you take it out here because we're valuable exactly well mary thank you so much for being here yeah. that's a, a phenomenal that was a fast book. 10 minutes thank, thank you. you so much i know thank you. okay that's really that's so cool i know it took a little bit to get there i wasn't yeah. sure um I'd love a copy of your book. Oh, that absolutely. One. But I wasn't sure, you know, what what you were trying to say at first, but then as soon as it kind of clicked, it was like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But it's so funny because as my editor, when I was working on this, said to me, are you sure you want to tackle all three? You have three books in one here, God, Family, and Country. Have you had a lot of, like, backlash from people about it? Well, you or? know what the funniest backlash is? This symbol. Really? Why? The conspiracy theorists. The oh. Oh my God, the stuff that's coming at me. And it, it's funny because I do go to the root um, spiritual teachings that yeah. you can find. Um, I believe, of course, Jesus Christ was using when he, Pythagoras was using it, the Magi were using it. It's, it goes, I can yeah, go yeah. to that. Oh, yeah. And that's where the symbol comes from. Right. Oh, yeah. But there's, um, way back. Way, yeah, way, 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 way back. back. Yeah. But there's this whole um, conspiracy theorist movement that sees secret societies at work deliberately trying to harness society into uh, debt-based structures, which is somewhat true. Well, yeah, I think there are some that do that, and I think, you know, we've seen movies about some of those yeah, or whatever, and I yeah, think you yeah. get caught up in it's it, but there. then you take, like, the, um, and I'm going to draw a blank on the name, the, temp the Templars, the, the Templars. Templars, and the, um, the first the other, and the other yeah. one, um, the other group, the, the, the whatever. You the Masons. What? Thank you. The Masons. The Freemasons. Yeah. My husband's yeah. father is one. But see, yeah. but but what I, I list in this book, I give uh, ten absolutes. It's really like steps to power that um, come from those teachings. But you can turn them any way you want. Yeah. It's like okay. When I had one argument with a conspiracy theorist. I said, okay, wait a minute. The Jesuits were out there torturing people, but they were based on Jesus Christ. The Crusaders. Yeah, they were based on Jesus Christ's teachings. Does that make what Jesus Christ taught a horrible thing? 
No, it's what we do with it. That's not, exactly right. Not, it's right. It's, yeah. it's our choices that we make when with we're given choices. information. Right. How do we take that information and process it? Right. And what do we do with the information right. once we have it? But you know, like I, a gentleman I interviewed yesterday that he's been a four or five time mom's choice. I've known him for years yeah. and I just love him. But he said, you know, he said, you're like one of 17 people in the, in the country that get it. Yeah, you know, just because <laughs> there yeah. are just so many people that aren't. They just they're don't not awake. see it yet, yeah, exactly. They're just not awake. But we're about to hit that critical mass. I think we're getting we that are. place. We're getting think, there. And, we're and getting the, there. the realization that, do we have to get out of here? No, no, oh, okay. no. You're not taping us, are you? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 